Talking about speed in automobiles, we have previously discussed the two out of the three main clusters of speed that comes to mind in our previous videos, and these are the engine speed and vehicle speed. In this particular video, we will be discussing the last one, which is the transmission speed, with focus on the transmission speed sensor TSS. We will be discussing its associated problems, fault codes, symptoms, and quickest fix when you have such challenges. The transmission speed sensor, TSS, is a critical component that monitors the speed of the transmission shaft. It plays a key role in providing essential data for the proper functioning of the transmission control module. You see, in the manual transmission car, one has to manually engage a new gear after revving the car engine to a certain speed. However, in the automatic transmission car, gear changes are done automatically by the transmission control module, TCM, and the TCM and the ECM rely heavily on the transmission speed sensor TSS to achieve this. Unlike the other sensors, crankshaft position sensor CKP and vehicle speed sensor VSS, the transmission speed sensor TSS comes in two types of speed measuring sensors. One, Input speed sensor ISS, located in the engine, to measure the input shaft speed. The input shaft is the shaft from the engine. 2. Output speed sensor OSS. This measure the speed of the transmission's output shaft. The output shaft is the shaft from the transmission. Here's how the process generally works. The TSS monitors the speed of the transmission's input or output shaft, then sends this data in form of electrical signals to the ECU or PCM based on whether it's an input speed sensor ISS or output speed sensor OSS. The ECU, PCM processes this information alongside data from other sensors to make decisions related to fuel injection, ignition timing, and transmission shifting. In the context of the transmission, the TSS data is crucial for regulating the timing of gear shifts. If the vehicle is moving at a certain speed, the ECU, PCM adjusts the transmission to ensure smooth and efficient operation. The vehicle speed information derived from various sensors, including the TSS, contributes to the display on the odometer. In vehicle transmission systems, input shaft speed and output shaft speed are important parameters for controlling gear ratios. When input shaft speed increases, it usually indicates acceleration, and the transmission may upshift to a higher gear for efficiency. Conversely, when it decreases, such as during deceleration, the transmission will downshift to maintain optimal performance. Being that the output shaft speed is associated with the speed of the vehicle's output shaft, also, an increase in output shaft speed often corresponds to higher vehicle speed, leading to upshifting for smoother operation. A decrease in it like during slowing down, might result in downshifting to match the driving conditions. Looking at the above trend, one may be easily confused as to the similarity of both input shaft speed and output shaft speed, so here is a clearer picture. The input shaft speed is associated with the speed of the engine's input shaft, which is driven by the engine. An increase in it suggests that the vehicle is accelerating, and upshifting could occur for optimal fuel efficiency. Output shaft speed, on the other hand, is linked to the speed of the transmission's output shaft, which is connected to the wheels. An increase in it often results in upshifting to maintain smooth operation. The decision to upshift or downshift is influenced by a combination of factors, including vehicle speed, engine load, and driver input. This is why you notice different readings in engine speed as opposed to vehicle readings on the speedometer. The transmission control module, the engine control unit, or powertrain control module, all uses the information collected by the TSS to influence various aspects of the vehicle's performance. The speed displayed on the odometer represents the vehicle's overall speed, and the TSS data is one of the factors influencing this display. There is always communication between the ECU and TCM that analyzes the engine speed, vehicle speed, and transmission speed, and this data helps the TCM to engage different gears for the smooth operation of the car especially in automatic transmission cars. Symptoms of a failing TSS the following signs will show you if your transmission speed sensors has failed. 1. Cruise control is a system that controls the vehicle's speed automatically. Its proper functioning depends on the data from the transmission speed sensors. If it fails to work, then it means the sensors have malfunctioned. 2. Improper OR harsh shifting. When there's no speed signal coming from the sensors, shifting of gears will be a problem because the powertrain control module won't control them correctly. This will make the transmission not work properly. It will either shift more quickly or roughly than expected. Another problem caused by failed sensors occurs in shift timing which will cause the interval between shifts to be extended. When shifting becomes hard, the transmission's internal components can be damaged. 3. The check engine light indicates The check engine light is a very important component of your car. If it lights, it means there's a problem with your car. You may not be able to tell whether or not it comes from the transmission speed sensors unless you check. 4. Incorrect speedometer readings Issues with the TSS may cause inaccuracies in the displayed speed on the speedometer. 5. Poor fuel economy. Malfunctioning TSS can affect transmission efficiency, impacting fuel economy. 
6. DTC error codes. If your car is having a problem with the TSS, one or any of the following DTC error codes will be shown when you scan your car with an OBD scanner. PO715. Input, turbine speed sensor circuit malfunction. This indicates a problem with the input speed sensor or its circuit. PO720. Output speed sensor circuit malfunction, OSS. This code is commonly associated with output speed sensor issues and points to a problem in the output speed sensor circuit. PO717. Input, turbine speed sensor ISS no signal. This code indicates that the ISS is not sending a signal to the transmission control module, TCM. PO722. Output speed sensor OSS no sign. This code signifies that the OSS is not providing a signal to the TCM. To solve this problems, check for wiring and the connectors of the speed sensors in respect with the code. If the wirings are intact then the sensors may have died of old age. Locate and replace the problematic speed sensor according to the error code. The TSS is typically located on or within the transmission, often near the transmission output shaft. This is the standard.